I'll let you in on somewhat of a joke that we like to make in my family. Would any of you believe that the wonderful dad that I'm so lucky to have, Mr. Qasr Madad, began his story in a village in Pakistan? Of course, he wasn't really a Dil kid, for Dil's inception was 25 years after my father came to America, but his story is one that was made possible by his education. I cannot help but think how the story of many other children, perhaps the majority of the children from his home village, would have changed and where they might have ended up had an organization like Dil been around. Imagine the possibilities. In the spirit of compassion, today's program will begin with a short surah from the Quran on the importance of giving, recited by Dr. Fatima Zeba Vanek. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن Dale's story has been one of endurance through the many difficulties that plague Pakistan as of late. Please join me in welcoming President of Dale Los Angeles Chapter, Praveen Ali, to the stage, who will share more of Dale's story with us. I'm going to take a minute to tell you how the Dil model is changing the face of education in Pakistan with your donations. We have established a teacher development center that produces high quality, professionally trained teachers who are the backbone of Dil schools. So much so that other organizations such as National Commission for Human Development, Civil Society Human and Institutional Development, and Pakistan Rising are partnering with Dil. We have trained 700 of our own teachers and about 300 teachers from other organizations to build the capacity and skill of teachers throughout Pakistan. We have initiated a state-of-the-art curriculum that integrates pedagogy and national curriculum standards into kindergarten through grade five in instruction for English, Urdu, math, and reading. We pioneered a one laptop per child pilot program employing solar panels in rural areas without electricity. We piloted an innovative computer cam with I Earn Pakistan. I think this mic is making some noises. to do internet research, to blog, and communicate with one another. It's amazing how quickly these children picked up the IT technology and how confident they are when they're blogging on their computers. We have partnered with Intel Corporation to promote and accelerate the integration of IT education in Pakistan. We have completed high-quality libraries at 32 schools so far and have set a goal to replicate those libraries at all our Dil schools with more research and reference material like books and CDs. We have started vocational training to help Dil graduates transition to the workplace and rural areas. This year, we will have graduated 200 women with marketable skills in computers and embroidery. I call upon your generosity to remain committed to the most important cause of our time, the education and empowerment of children the key to a more prosperous, peaceful, and stable Pakistan. Thank you. CSI has donated software to thousands of universities for teaching purposes and makes a point to ensure that this technology reaches engineers in developing nations. 
An avid supporter of the arts, Mr. Habibullah co-founded the Diablo Ballet, a critically acclaimed San Francisco Bay Area-based professional dance company. He is founder of the Engineering Alliance for the Arts, an organization that involves school children with technology by focusing on the artistic aspects of structural engineering. He has conducted seminars all over the world and is the recipient of numerous awards in the arts as well as in structural engineering. And now it is with great pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Mr. Ashraf Habibullah. I would just want to start out by giving an incredible hand to the organizers and the supporters of this event. You know, those of us that come from Pakistan know that people want to go to Catholic schools because the education there is the best. And you know, Catholic schools were started in the Indian subcontinent years ago primarily to provide, engine, provide education for poor students. They brought them in and they educated them and the education becomes, became so incredibly great that the rich people wanted to sell, send their students there. Even to this day, <laughs> you know, you talk about education, you know, Dil, you are not just in this environment where the whole world is having cutbacks you're not only providing education, you're providing education in a developing nation, and you're providing education to girls. You know, I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. You know, education, you have to create an environment. Children do not learn by being told. Those of us that are parents know that. How many times can you tell a kid to do a certain thing and they don't do it? They learn by absorbing their environment and psycho psychologists will tell you this. They learn by watching. They learn by doing what you do. And that's what you guys are doing. You don't even have to teach them anything. You provide them the environment, given the computers, they will teach themselves. One of the things that is very, very important to know is that when you get in front of an, of an audience, even if they are children, when you give them knowledge, like for instance, when I go to, I, I travel all across the world, I'll be in a seminar where, where you know, our, our, the technology that we, we develop is very, very complex. You know, PhD level and research level professors develop some of the numerical techniques. So in order for people to understand it, you have to have a certain amount of background. But when you're in an audience and you are able to take something that's extremely complex and you are able to present it to them in a form in which they understand it, you empower them. This is what you guys are doing at DIL. You're going out there and you are empowering people. Thank you very much. And for the next part of the program, we'd like to invite Fiza Shah, the truly inspirational leader that Dil has had for, from the very beginning and the reason why we've all convened here today. There is a couple in this audience that has pledged to construct a primary school in rural Lawalpindi for $50,000. They wish to remain anonymous, but please allow me to thank you on behalf of Dil and the students whose lives you've changed forever. I also hold in my hand a check of $73,000 from a man with a heart of gold. His mother's name, Kesara came from a village in Shekhupura from where she moved to India. And it is in her memory that he's building a school in Shekhupura. Thank you, Sudesh Arora. <laughs> it is indeed visionaries like you that make this a beautiful world. Thank you. <laughs> 